Good day everyone, Chef Mooney here coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to make a beautiful sherry trifle. We're going back to the UK, that's where I learned how to make mine and I'll show you how to do it today. So let's get cooking on Mooney's Kitchen. <music> Okay, the first thing I want to do is strain my fruit because I want to use the juice for the jelly. I've got 280 grams of two fruits, that's peaches and pears. You can use any fruit you like. Okay, just set that aside. And with your liquid that you have left over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in 85 grams or just one packet of your jelly crystals. You just follow the directions on the packet. We need. Um, 450 mils of liquid total to set. Okay, so 85 grams of jelly crystals with the remainder of the liquid. You just need enough to dissolve the jelly crystals. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this into the microwave and then we'll move on to the next step. We need to get that totally dissolved. So into the microwave it goes for about a minute or so until it's nice and clear. Okay, so we've got the jelly crystals that we've heated in the microwave into our jug and we want to bring it up to 450 which is right there with just some cold water give it a mix around and you're just going to set this aside until we're ready to assemble the trifle let it cool down now I bought some Swiss roll from, from the supermarket. You don't have to make this. It's time consuming to make it. I'm just going to cut it into small slices. Okay, so now put the sponge that you've sliced up in your trifle bowl or your glass bowl. And because this is a small trifle bowl, I'm going to go up the sides a little bit and just sort of push it down. Tip your fruit in. I'm going to add a drizzle of the semi-sweet sherry just soaked through the sponge it smells Christmassy already okay I'm going to put some jelly through there so it soaks through the sponge like so I can smell that sherry, it smells fantastic now I've used about half of the jelly. I'm going to save the other half for the top. We're going to let this set and we're going to chop it up and put it over the top. Now into a bowl, I've just followed the directions on the packet to make up one pint of custard or a liter of custard. Um, and we're just going to mix that through. It's got the sugar in there with the custard powder. We just brought the uh, milk up to a gentle, gentle simmer. And we're just going to add the custard mixture to this. Keep an eye on it. Don't walk away from the pot. As it will start to thicken quite quickly. I'm using a non-stick pan with a silicon whisk so I'm not scratching the bottom. This is going to be beautiful and smooth. Okay, our custard is starting to cool down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of cream in there just to give it that bit of softness and some creamy texture. It's going to make it um, nice and velvety as well. I'm just going to pour it on now. And we're going to pop this into the fridge to set. It's got to be completely set and completely cold before we put the rest of the topping on the trifle. Okay, so I've got cream going on the top and with a long knife, like a bread knife or something, like a palette knife, just spread it around so it's nice and even on the top. And then just a little rosette of cream around the edges. Here's the rest of our jelly and I'm just going to break this up with a fork. I 
Okay, so into a dry pan, nice and hot, I'm just going to toast off some almonds. Keep your eye on them because they will burn very quickly. Straight onto a cold plate. Now into the same pan I'm putting a little bit of coconut. Just enough to sprinkle over the top. And you can see by the heat of the pan that browns quite quickly. It doesn't take as long as the almonds. And again onto a cold plate. You can do this in the oven, it's a lot quicker in the pan. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some of the coconut just around the edges here. This is the desiccated coconut that we toasted off in the pan. That's going to give it that nice coconut crunch just around the edge. There's quite a bit here, so you can use this coconut for something else if you like at the later stage. And on the inside, I'm going to put some of those toasted flaked almonds, which look really nice and gives a nice crunch and contrast to the trifle. There is no delicate way of serving trifle in a large bowl. You just gotta dig in. Let's give it a try. Mm. Beautiful custard, the jelly through there, that nice sponge. It's not too sweet. I didn't make the custard too sweet. It is absolutely delicious. And I hope you give this recipe a try.